So next up is the Sony A9 with a 100 to 400 millimeter zoom. And we're going to go through a group of these images. Let's start off with this one a little bit of far distance from the camera. Razor sharp at 100%. Let's bring that back up to 100%. Razor sharp, razor sharp, razor sharp, sharp, sharp. And that one's a little bit out. So that's going to be a two, just a little bit behind. Let's take a look at another series. I want to get some stuff coming kind of more towards the camera. Razor sharp. Oh, that's a two. That's a two. It's out. Razor sharp. Out. 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 Razor sharp. Razor sharp, razor sharp. And what's interesting about this series is this is a very complicated, confusing background. Out, all right, more coming at the camera. Razor sharp, in, that one's out. In, in, sharp, out, out. Razor sharp. Okay. Here's a series. Sharp. 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 That one's a two. Razor sharp. Razor sharp. Razor sharp. Razor. That one's a two, not razor sharp. And he's going out of the frame. All right, let's go down to... One of the things that I'm noticing with the Sony is that there are a few out, but even the ones that get close to the camera where the bird is biggest in the frame can be really nice and sharp. Let's go this route. Let's see this one. Razor sharp. Sharp. That one's a two, not quite razor. That one's razor sharp. Razor sharp. 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 That one might be a two. And this one's a two. And that one's out. Let's look at this series. It starts way off in the distance and he's got some little sand lance, which are small fish in his beak, and he's razor sharp. It's a three. Sharp, 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 sharp. See as he gets closer to the camera, it's not giving up, it actually gets better. Sharp, 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 sharp. This one's not, this one's out. Razor sharp. Razor sharp, out, and then razor sharp, razor, eh, this one's a, probably a two, and then he comes out of the frame. So, I think you can see what I'm seeing, that the Sony is considerably better, but it's not a whole lot better than the EM1X but it is a whole lot better than my G9. So there you go. That's the comparison between the Lumix G9, the Olympus EM1X, and the Sony A9 in predictive autofocus situations where we're photographing really fast moving birds, these little horn puffins in Alaska.